The Danish government announced a significant military aid package for Ukraine including T-72EA tanks and BMP-2 infantry fighting vehicles, IFVs, valued at 3.7 billion Danish kroner, approximately $520 million. This decision comes at a critical time for Ukraine, which is facing a large-scale Russian invasion. According to the Danish Ministry of Defense, the package includes T-72EA tanks, BMP-2 infantry fighting vehicles, artillery shells, drones, and small arms. Additionally, the package includes engineering and recovery vehicles, co-financed by Germany. Danish Defense Minister Trolls Lund Poulsen stated that the contents of this package were decided after consultations with his Ukrainian counterpart, Rustem Yumarov, in Kiev earlier this week. This is not the first time Denmark has supported Ukraine in its fight against Russian aggression. Since the beginning of the large-scale Russian invasion, Denmark has already provided Ukraine with $2. 3 billion in military aid and 354 million dollars in civilian contributions. Denmark is also one of the few countries committed to providing Kiev with the highly sought after F-16 fighter jets. Danish Foreign Minister Lars Luga Rasmussen emphasized that this donation is a strong signal to both Ukraine and Russia. This confirms that Ukraine can count on Denmark's unwavering support in its fight for freedom, he said. He also noted that although global attention is currently focused on Israel and Palestine, Denmark remains focused on the situation in Ukraine. The aid package also includes support for NATO's Comprehensive Assistance Package, which coordinates non-lethal defense aid to Kiev, as well as the EU's Joint Artillery Shell Purchasing Plan. The Danish Ministry of Defense clarified that this donation would not have immediate consequences on the country's defense organization. The T-72EA retains the original design of the T-72, with the driver's seat at the front, the turret in the middle, and the power unit at the back. It is equipped with a main armament system consisting of a 125mm 2A46 gun coupled with an automatic loading system. The tank is also equipped with a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. It appears that the 12.7mm machine gun mounted on the commander's cupola has been removed due to the integration of ERA, explosive reactive armor, on the turret roof. Among the improvements, the T-72EA features a new radio communication system, a new digital dashboard for the driver, new night vision systems, a thermal camera, and an eye-safe laser rangefinder. The engine has also been upgraded, increasing from 780 to 840 horsepower. This modernized tank thus offers better mobility, improved firing capabilities, and increased protection compared to the original model. It is particularly suited to Ukraine's current needs, offering a balanced combination of firepower, protection, and mobility. According to available information, the aid will be distributed in three tranches over the coming years. In 2023, Ukraine will receive aid of 4.3 billion kroner, followed by 1.4 billion in 2024 and 52 million in 2025.